Mi nombre es Andrés, soy de Mérida, Yucatán. Mi nombre es Alejandra Álvarez y soy de Los Cabos, México. Mi nombre es Marco y soy de Zapopan. Soy Rodrigo Cáceres, soy de Monterrey, Nuevo León. Me llamo Rafael Contreras, eh, soy de la Ciudad de México. Hola, mi nombre es Lorena y soy de Ciudad de México. Hola, soy Paola y soy de León, México. Una de las razones igual que porque escogí Irlanda fue porque Irlanda es un país que es un hub ahorita para todo lo que tiene que ver con compu eh, computación e informática. Por ejemplo, tienes a Google, tienes eh, Amazon, Facebook, agencias de consultoras de IT y una vez que estudias aquí, ellos es más fácil que te contraten y los salarios son muy buenos, entonces por eso fue una de las razones que escogí Irlanda igual. La razón por la cual escogí estudiar en Trinity College es porque es una universidad que tiene muchísima historia y cuando empecé a explorar los diferentes programas que tenía en cuanto a educación, me gustó mucho específicamente el programa que ofrecía en cuanto a lenguas y por eso escogí la universidad. Es muy buena opción el hecho de que para entrar al país no necesitas inicialmente una visa y es después que tienes que hacer el proceso de, de actualización para tener la visa de estudiante. El curso se enfoca más en la producción de cine en general, en el aspecto técnico, más que en el aspecto creativo. Constantemente se está renovando y busca invertir en la tecnología y invertir en el espacio necesario para que estudiantes de cine se puedan desarrollar acordemente. Escogí Irlanda para estudiar mi maestría porque sé que es, una, es un destino que, que trata muy bien a los estudiantes y aparte tiene un muy buen nivel de educación. Otra de las ventajas de Irlanda es que puedes hacer muchos amigos internacionales por ejemplo, hay mucha gente de Corea, hay mucha gente de aquí de Irlanda, gente de, de Europa en general. Y además hay una comunidad muy grande de mexicanos aquí en Irlanda. Hay muchos grupos de Facebook, hay muchos grupos de WhatsApp donde la gente se puede comunicar con ellos. Decir de que Ay, acabo de llegar, no sé nada, estoy perdido y te apoyan y todo. Entonces es muy bueno y muy fácil hacer amigos aquí. Sí es un poco diferente la vida de noche aquí, pero uno está acostumbrado rápido, la disfrutas, es divertido. Y conoces mucha gente en la fiesta, hay muchas actividades, hay muchas sociedades internacionales que tú puedes llegar a conocer mucha gente. Si sí, te preocupa venir solo a Irlanda, la gente es muy amigable, es fácil hacer amigos, hay gente de toda parte del mundo, es fácil hacer amigos en la vida nocturna, está lleno en los bares, estás haciendo conversación con cualquier persona. Es más difícil salir y no ser amigos que salir y hacer amigos. Otro de los beneficios que encontré aquí en Irlanda es que durante mis estudios también puedo trabajar. He trabajado como maestra de inglés con diferentes escuelas. Lo que lo hace interesante es que todo lo que estás aprendiendo en la maestría lo puedes aplicar en tu trabajo y también adquieres experiencia internacional que también es muy importante y puedes ir generando diferentes oportunidades para poder ir creando a futuro terminando tus estudios y poder trabajar aquí en Irlanda. Otra de las ventajas de estudiar en Irlanda es que la visa de estudiante te da la oportunidad de trabajar durante 20 horas semanales en tiempo escolar y en el calendario de vacaciones de invierno y de verano puedes trabajar hasta 40 horas a la semana y esto pues te da la oportunidad de tener un ingreso extra mientras estás estudiando para soportar tus gastos. Por el momento me gustaría quedarme aquí en Limerick y juntar recursos suficientes para poder pagar mi mesía e irme cómodamente a estudiarla y nuevamente buscar empleo dentro de mi campo. Yo he estado en, en Alemania, en España, en, en Bélgica, también he estado en Escocia, en Londres. Es importante que se sepas también que la visa que te da el gobierno es como una visa que te permite entrar y salir las veces que tú quieras hasta mientras estás estudiando aquí, entonces realmente no tienes que sacar ninguno de los requisitos para poder viajar a cualquier otra parte de Europa. Después de hacer el diplomado, te vas a hacer una maestría y después de la maestría te dan una estampa por dos años, te tienes que trabajar dos años y la ventaja de aquí es que los salarios en el área de computación y tecnología son bastante altos, ya que aquí se encuentran compañías como Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft. Es un buen lugar para empezar una carrera profesional. La gente es muy amable y muy abierta a conocer a gente, especialmente de diferentes países. Es un país muy amistoso y la gente es muy amable. Igual gente que habla español como tú, de gente de España, de Latinoamérica, de todas culturas viniendo aquí. Y nunca sabes a quién te vas a conocer. Hello everyone and thank you for joining us today for our Study in Ireland webinar which is organised by SRT. Today we're delighted to have with us Barry O'Driscoll from Education Ireland, David Bradley from the Dundalk Institute of Technology, we have Sarah Power from Mary Immaculate College in Limerick and Kleena Marr from the University College in Cork. The webinar today is going to take approximately one hour and we'll start with an overview of Ireland as a study destination, which will be followed by a brief presentation from each of the universities. Feel free to ask questions at any moment using the chat at the right hand side of your screen and we will get back to you with the answers at the end of the session. So without further ado, I'm passing you over to Barry O'Driscoll. Barry.
Welcome everybody to this webinar. Uh, today's session is all about studying in Ireland. Uh, I'm Barry from Education in Ireland, um, and that's the Irish government brand that promotes Ireland as a location for higher education. Um, I understand we have students uh, and school counselors here joining us from um, Mexico, from Colombia. Uh, we've got people from Panama, Honduras, Costa Rica. So uh, welcome everybody. Um, in today's session, we'll be featuring um, three of Ireland's higher education institutions, uh, Dundalk Institute of Technology, Mary Immaculate College, University College Cork. And they'll talk about uh, a range of programs that, that they have, uh, both at undergraduate um, and postgraduate level, um, referring to entry requirements and career opportunities and so on. Um, but firstly, a few points about, um, you know, why study in Ireland? So um, I suppose the country is also known as uh, the Emerald Isle. Um, we're um, an island in Western Europe and uh, the country is, is very green, uh, which is why we're called um, the Emerald Isle. And we would get a lot of uh, international visitors and indeed a lot of uh, international students would choose Ireland uh, to study. Um, last year we had about um, 40,000 uh, international students that chose Ireland for higher education. Um, we are an English speaking country, so we get a significant number of students that will come to Ireland to study English. Um, but this session today is going to focus on higher education. So what are the reasons um, that international students, uh, that make international students choose Ireland? Um, I mentioned we're an English speaking country. Um, Ireland is also one of the safest countries in the world. And we are consistently in the top 10 safest countries um, in the world, according to the Global Peace Index. Um, so Ireland would be well known for being a very welcoming and very friendly country. And of course, that's very important to students, parents and, and school counsellors. We're also very uh, connected uh, to the world. And, um, you know, I mentioned we're the only English speaking country, um, we're the only English speaking country in the EU. And our location has played um, a key uh, role in Ireland becoming a um, high-tech, um, knowledge-based economy, um, one that produces highly skilled graduates um, from our higher education institutions. So you can see there, um, you know, on the slides that uh, Ireland is, is, you know, number one in Europe for international pharmaceutical investment. Um, eight of the top 10 global pharma and biopharmaceutical companies have operations in Ireland. 15 of the top 20 medical devices companies are here. Um, Ireland is actually the world's second largest software exporter. Um, in addition, we have 50% um, of the world's major financial services companies. And indeed, also eight of the top 10 and global ICT companies are here in Ireland uh, as well. And so, Ireland is very much um, you know, a location for um, international industries and, and we have over a thousand multinational companies that are based in Ireland across various sectors and you, you can see some of the big um, multinational companies that are there in Ireland that have um, their European headquarters that are based in Ireland. So I mentioned um, the, the pharma and medical devices industries in Ireland. We also have a very strong in indigenous uh, sector in medical devices and medical technologies. And the Irish medtech sector has very much been involved in responding to the challenges of COVID-19 and very much part of that um, global supply chain. Um, just on the issue of COVID-19, which has had a significant impact on higher education, I would say that international students uh, currently in Ireland have been you know, very well supported with those challenges. For example, um, when the crisis occurred, the Irish government uh, immediately confirmed that any international student directly affected by COVID-19 would have full access to healthcare at no cost. Um, also, um, any international student in Ireland who lost a part-time job as a result of the pandemic um, had been entitled to an emergency unemployment payment of 350 euros per week. Um, so Ireland has really been a country that has um, ensured that supports have been put in place um, for international students uh, during a very challenging period. Um, 
we're finding we're getting a lot of interest and queries from students um, all over the world considering Ireland for the next academic year and for the 2021 intake. Um, and we're getting a lot of interest from, from Latin America, from Mexico, from Colombia, Panama, Costa Rica, Honduras. Um, so, it, you know, it's very interesting to kind of see that um, we're continuing to get a lot of interest um, from potential students. So what can you study in Ireland? At postgrad or undergrad level, anything, any kind of program you can think of is really much, very much available in Ireland. Um, and um, we will talk about um, these programs further when we when we hear from some of the um, the institutions. One of the things that Ireland continues to offer is the opportunity for post study um, work. Um, and if you come to study in Ireland at higher level, um, if you do your undergraduate program in Ireland, you can remain in Ireland for a further 12 months um, to look for employment opportunities. And if you do your master's in Ireland, you can stay in Ireland for, for a further 24 months um, to look for employment opportunities. So the post-study work opportunity is very much um, one of the advantages of studying in Ireland. Another thing which is quite interesting for international students is that you have the ability in Ireland to study part time as international students. So you can work up to 20 hours per week during the academic year and up to 40 hours per week uh, during holiday periods. And the minimum wage in Ireland, which is 10 euros and uh, 10 per hour, is actually the second highest uh, minimum wage uh, in Europe. And I think that's something that's um, very interesting for um, international students, not just in English language, but in higher education as well. So we're going to talk to three, um, we're going to hear from three higher education institutions in Ireland. Um, firstly, we're going to hear from Dundalk Institute of Technology. Uh, then we'll hear from Mary Immaculate College and then from University College Cork. And then after that, we'll have the opportunity to ask uh, some of your questions. So, um, so I'll hand over to David from uh, Dundalk Institute of Technology to tell us a little bit about uh, his institution. Thank you, Barry. I believe we're going to get a short video now on DKIT. <laughs> It's not just that DKIT is the leading higher education institute in North Leinster, South Ulster. It's not just because we have more than 45 undergraduate courses and over 60 part-time options. Yes, our four academic schools offer diverse programs of study taught by inspirational lecturers in state-of-the-art facilities. And yes, we have strong links with local businesses. Our programs offer hands-on learning with connections to industry experts and have a focus on entrepreneurship and innovation. But it's not just that. And it's not just because of our wide range of sports and social clubs, but the excellent employment opportunities for DKIT graduates. DKIT is just down the road. It's allowing you to be more independent. I meet new people every day, making new friends every day. And I just love it. What makes DKIT so extraordinary is you. You make it DKIT. Thank you for that. I hope you enjoyed that video. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of information on DKIT. As what you'll probably find in quite a few of the presentations today, you'll get a little bit of information with regards to Ireland. As Barry had mentioned before, Ireland is uh, now is what we call the gateway to Europe. It's the, probably the last now English-speaking country officially within the European Union. The employability is high within Ireland and it's got one of the youngest uh, populations within the European Union. In terms of Ireland at the moment, as you, you can see for just recently, the national minimum wage went up to 10 euros and 10 cents per hour. So it's now the third highest in Europe for the national minimum wage. So students when they're working in Ireland can work up to 20 hours per week. So you have the potential to earn around seven or 800 euros per month whilst you're studying. In the times you're not studying outside of normal campus time, 
you can be earning extra income and earning almost up to 1800 euros per month and the starting salary for most jobs in Ireland but particularly around the, the area we're in as you can see on the right hand side the little circle is around 35,000 euros per year but we'll come to a little bit more about our location in a second. In terms of uh, studying in Dundalk, in Ireland we have at the moment uh, 13 institutes of technology in the coming years each of those institutes of technology will be turned into a technology university so at the moment they're all but a university in name we provide the same number of courses they're very uh, industry oriented in terms of the program development and they'll be able to support you certainly with uh, getting the, the career that you want at the end of your degree or master's pro program as Barry had mentioned previously, Ireland is the gateway to Europe, not only in terms of travel, but in terms of many of the, the global companies. As the large multinational hub, we have a lot of companies, US-based companies used in Ireland because they're the close proximity to, to Ireland and the USA. We've got top 10 gaming com countries. We have companies, we have 50% uh, of the world's large financial services, such as Citibank, PwC, some of the global banks, and we have nine or ten global pharmaceutical com companies. We have a company next to campus called Wuchi Biologics, and they're looking around 200 of our postgraduates over the next two to three years. And indeed, these are going to be one of the companies and organizations who will be working on finding cures to things like such as the coronavirus. Ireland, as you see, is first in the world for attracting high investment projects. We have large US uh, technology software companies. We've got Google there, we've got LinkedIn there. Right across from campus, we have PayPal. So a lot of our uh, graduates will stay and work within the region after they graduate, and we'll come to that a little bit later on as well. So as you see, in terms of what Barry had mentioned there, in terms of the global links Ireland has with some of the key, the key employers around the world, such as Google, Microsoft, IBM, they all operate out of Ireland, they operate out of South America, they operate in North America, and across Europe and Asia as well. So with studying in Ireland, you have opportunities not only to work with one of the global uh, companies, but you also have the opportunity to possibly return to your own company with this additional experience. In terms of employment opportunities for Dundalk students and our graduates, but Ireland as a whole, careers in ICT, engineering in particular, and we do offer scholarships for engineering students, which I'll come to a little bit later on, financial services, media design, and international sales and health programs. Dundalk itself is located on the northeast coast of Ireland. As you see, we're sandwiched right between Belfast and Dublin, so around 45 minutes north of Dublin but we're also 54% cheaper to live in Dundalk than it is in Dublin. So we have close access to the capital city and we're also very close to Belfast, about one hour's drive from Belfast also. In terms of the programs that we provide, we are an institute of technology. So we are, where Dundalk is based, we have the second largest town in Ireland. We've got the key uh, transport corridor in terms of Ireland going from Dublin to Belfast is called the M1 corridor and it's also been named the financial technology corridor because of the range of uh, corporate and financial businesses around that area. It's a lower cost of living, we're close to Dublin airport, it's a very safe and friendly place to live and we have lots of employment opportunities for students in and around our region as we'll come to a little bit later as well. You have an overview of our campus and within the overview of the campus you do also have the opportunity to download our brochure as I'm speaking to you but anyone who's been involved today I will email you over a copy of our brochure and details on our scholarships as well. So you have a large campus covering a large region but you can't see in the photograph there right on the coast right next to the REC so we've got beautiful area there for going to climbing mountains and for surfing and for any water sports that you might want to participate in. We have four main schools within DKIT, the School of Business and Humanities, the School of Engineering, the School of Health and Science and Informatics and Creative Arts. So you can see from the, the slide there, there's just a, a range of some of the programs we do offer. But again, we have over uh, 50 degree programs and master's programs and you can look at those on the handout that you now are able to download. In terms of international links, we have students from over 35 countries and growing. We have students from all South American and Latin American countries. And indeed, I hope to visit each of those countries in the near future again, as well as regular visits that I do take to Mexico and Colombia each year. 
In terms of regions of study at DKIT, well, I've mentioned quite a few of them already in terms of we have global links to industry. We are located close to Dublin, so you want to be near the capital city, but have a cheaper cost of living. We have an excellent career service, student support services, and we also have a safe and friendly campus, excellent sports facilities as well. I mentioned before that we have a high employability range and 95% of our students will progress on to further employment or higher education as and when they graduate. So because of the range of companies within the region, they have high employability prospects. Again, like every campus, we have our student services, our sporting clubs and societies. And key to you guys here will be our fees. We have relatively reasonable fees. As you can see from the the fees we have here, our undergraduate fees are €9,950 Euros per year. They can be paid in installments and we do offer additional scholarships that reduce those fees. So I mentioned previously things such as engineering, we can offer also two to €3,000 off your fees. The key selling point for Dundalk Institute of Technology for Latin and South American students is we offer free accommodation scholarships for your full undergraduate degree. So if you're coming to study at DKIT, you won't pay for any accommodation for the full duration of your study with ourselves. So whilst your fees are 9950 per year, they can be paid in installments. We do offer additional scholarships, but as the information I will send out to each and every one of you after this uh, presentation tomorrow, you will get information on the fact that we do not charge undergraduate students any uh, fees for their accommodation. So with earning seven or 800 euros per month in your part-time job, you'll have more money in your pocket to have a more affordable uh, student experience. Our campus uh, accommodation is right on campus, so everything's within walking distance. You can see the wind turbine on campus, so for any engineering-based students, we were the first university campus in the world to have a wind turbine, and you will be working with that as an engineering student. So everything is within walking distance, and we have, again, quite affordable range of fees. Our gym and our sports facilities are included in your fees, so you won't have to pay to join the gym, because that's included in part of your fees, so you'll have access all year round to using our gym and our sports facilities. So that's at the end of my presentation. Um, I look forward to sending you some information and hearing to you all in the future. And I'll now pass it on to Sarah Parr from Mary Immaculate College. Great. Thanks a million, David. There's something Hi, magical everyone. about it. Here's our video. There, there's something magical about exploring new ideas. At Mary Immaculate College, we celebrate the joy of sharing knowledge and the wonder of learning. Learning is about meaningful experiences in everyday life. Learning is about questioning, sharing, and growing. Learning is transformative. Learn to change the world. Learn with MIC. Okay, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Sarah Power and I work at Mary Immaculate College. We are located in Limerick in Ireland, in the west coast of Ireland. We're a university level college, a Catholic College of Education and the Liberal Arts. And as David and Barry have both mentioned already, we are an English speaking country in the EU. Okay. So our campus, Mary Immaculate College campus is located in Limerick city. So we are a city based campus. So from our campus, walking distance to the city centre of Limerick is only 10 minutes. So you have a nice, safe, small campus with 5,000 students within walking distance of a vibrant city centre in the west of Ireland. Uh, we also have uh, 5,000 students on our campus. So our campus itself, it's a very safe, a very small, a very uh, welcoming community of students. So you'd, it's, it, we find with our international students that it's quite easy for them to settle in and um, really find themselves part of a community within our college. Mary Immaculate College is located on the west coast of Ireland in Limerick City. You can see here, we're located right beside Shannon International Airport as well. So for any international flights that are coming in, while we also have uh, Dublin over on the east coast of Ireland, and we are located, Limerick City would be about two, two and a half hours drive from Dublin with excellent transport uh, options around the island of Ireland. Limerick itself, it's uh, the third largest city in Ireland with a population of 162,000 people. And there are 
three institutes of um, education, higher institutes of education in Limerick, making it an incredibly friendly student city, as well as a safe uh, city for students to come to. Mary I or Mary Macula College, we offer for international students, we have four undergraduate uh, options um, on offer for you. The Bachelor of Arts in Liberal Arts, the Bachelor of Arts in Contemporary and Applied Theatre Studies, the Bachelor of Arts in Early Childhood Care and Education, and the Bachelor of Arts in Education, Business Studies and Accounting. As part of the Bachelor of Arts, the Liberal Arts, you can choose four of these subjects you see in your screen now to do in your first year. You continue on then into your second year with two of those subjects towards working towards a dual degree at the end of your four years. As you can see there, there's a really good mix of subjects that you can choose from. And as I mentioned previously, we have 5,000 students, so that means smaller class sizes. So you get great interaction with your lecturers and really get to know your, your fellow students. As part of the BA in Contemporary and Applied Theatre Studies, this would be our newest programme. Our first cohort of students actually graduated from this programme last year. It's a very innovative, exciting uh, programme based around contemporary theatre, um, discovering new ways of performing theatre arts and also um, looking at theatre design, direction, script writing, um, behind the scenes production. And we also on campus in Mary Macula College, we have our own theatre, a 500 seater theatre where our students would actually perform on that stage and it is open to the city as well. So there's lots of national theatre groups that come down and use that theatre also. Our Bachelor of Arts in Early Childhood Care and Education is for anyone who's interested in early childhood, zero, to, zero years to six years of age. So these are the students um, that would be interested. So anybody who takes this program are very much interested in um, the Montessori, kindergarten, um, early childhood. And this would be a four year program as well. All of our undergraduate programs are four years. Our Bachelor of Arts in Education, Business Studies and Accounting. This is if you are interested in studying to be a secondary school teacher in Ireland. High school is called secondary school teacher, so it would be second level teaching. And at the end of the four years, um, a student would graduate with a Bachelor of Arts and be able to um, teach in um, a secondary school or a second level school in Business Studies and Accounting. The, one of the unique things about our programmes are that international students can actually um, finish a four year degree in three years. This is because the third year in Mary Macula College is normally spent on a study abroad. So a year abroad in one of our partner European institutions or in the States or in Australia. But international students can choose to have an exemption from their third year um, because they are already studying abroad. So you could then potentially get an undergraduate degree in three years, saving yourself the cost of a fourth year in tuition. Then with this fourth year, you could potentially do a master's or postgraduate program with us. Um, Mary Macca College also offers a wide range of postgraduate programs, such as in education, applied linguistics, um, history, uh, English literature. So you could then finish after four years in Mary Immaculate College, you could graduate with not just an undergraduate degree, but also a postgraduate degree. And our um, postgraduate programmes also um, are very uh, cost affordable. We would have postgraduate programmes in the range of 9,000 to 11,000 euro. Then also, in addition to, I mean, if you wanted to as well, you could choose to spend your third year um, in a, another European um, institution through our Erasmus programme or also in any of our non-EU partner um, institutions in Australia, in Japan, in um, the United States as well. So it really is up to you. You have the choice whether you wish to um, choose an exemption from the third year and go straight into fourth year or else spend your third year either on work placement or on study abroad. It's completely up to you and it's great that international students have this choice. 
Um, a degree from ourselves is recognised worldwide. The standard of education in Ireland is considered extremely high and all of our institutions are, um, any of our degrees and qualifications are recognised worldwide. So by studying abroad, you also gain valuable experience on your resume, your CV, and this will straight away um, make you stand out to future employers if you, make, if you have taken the choice to study abroad. We have our tuition fees, our undergraduate tuition fees per year of €11,128 per year. Um, for students from the US, we do accept federal loans and any students who are on the line from Mexico, we are also currently um, in the process of working with FUNED. We also can um, put in place a payment plan so that your tuition fees could be split into potentially two parts or three parts. This can be arranged with our finance office. Um, I don't believe we have any US students on the line, so I might skip past this slide. Um, our entry requirements, I've uh, shared the link there, so there are different entry requirements for each country and they can all be viewed at this link on our website, um, which I believe you'll be receiving all of these presentations afterwards. And um, as has been mentioned by previous speakers, you can work full time um, as a full time international student in Ireland. You can work sorry, part time up to 20 hours per week um, during the semester and up to 40 hours per week during the holidays. So again, in addition to an international study experience, you can also get international work experience while in Ireland. And this would be an incredible um, attribute to your CV or resume. Our accommodation, all of our accommodation is within walking distance of our college. So there would be no commuting costs for any students who come to us. All of our accommodation is at most 15 to 20 minutes walk. We primarily, um, for any of our first year international students who arrive, we do help you with the accommodation process. So that would be nothing to worry about um, before you arrive. Um, Limerick is a very low cost city. So you can um, expect to live in uh, Limerick um, and if you work part time as well, you can obviously save a lot of money by um, working part time and also living in a low cost, inexpensive city. Um, we don't have meal plans. It wouldn't be the norm in Ireland to have meal plans included in, um, say, accommodation. What we do have are kitchens, um, usually shared kitchen facilities that students can buy inexpensive food from local shops and cook um, together or cook for yourself. Um, all of our international students, as I've mentioned previously, we have a, um, a small college community of 5,000 students. So our international students very much settle in well with um, all of our Irish students and other international students. We have a really great collection of clubs and societies on campus. Um, for, as I mentioned, we have our um, we have our theatre, the Lime Tree Theatre on campus. So we have an excellent student musical society. Um, we also have great sports facilities on campus and we have great um, student supports for students all across. For example, um, our students, we have a counselling service, free counselling for our students. We have a medical centre. We have a, a very vibrant students union, great activities that happen on campus. We have a tutor service for anyone who's having problems potentially with academics. Um, so all of our lecturers, because we're a small community, our lecturers know the students. So we very much um, offer pastoral care, um, great concern for our students. So um, when you are a student at Mary Immaculate College, you are part of the college community and you are looked after. As I mentioned there as well, we have excellent sports facilities on campus. We have our own gym. We have great um, sports teams in hurling, which is an Irish sport. You need to look it up on YouTube if you haven't seen it before. And um, Limerick is also the home of Munster Rugby. So our student sports on campus, we have great um, pitches, um, great, a great gym, um, and our students are very active in sports on campus. This is, for example, a picture of Thoman Park in Limerick, which is um, where the Munster Rugby team would play. So students obviously love going along to these matches as well. Limerick, it's as I said before, Limerick is a very safe student city. Um, there, it's on the west coast of Ireland, easy access to the Atlantic Ocean for surfing. There's hikes in the mountains, a really great outdoor life, and as well as having a great um, city experience. Um, and there's a few pictures there of, of Limerick. We have uh, the milk market, as we call it, there on a Saturday. It's a great uh, fresh food uh, outdoor market. 
uh, really good. All of our international students absolutely love it and it's a great way to meet students. And yeah, so as I mentioned, we are um, very easy access as well to the rest of Europe. Great outdoor activities in Limerick. Our um, student society would help international students with arranging maybe trips going on and um, student um, activities every weekend as well. And here is information. I believe this will all be sent out to you afterwards. Please feel free to email me. I will be emailing all of you as well if you have any questions, um, if you want to know about entry requirements, anything like that. I'm more than happy to answer any questions. And that is the end of my presentation. And I believe we have Kleena from University College Cork next. Thank you very much. Hello, good morning, buenos dias. My name is Kina from University College Cork in Ireland. And to start, I'll show you a short video. So just to talk a little bit about UCC, um, we're an, part of the National University of Ireland. We're based in Cork City, which is a port, a very important European port. It's here in the south of Ireland. And Barry and other colleagues mentioned about a lot of multinationals opening their European headquarters in Cork, um, in Ireland. So a lot of them are in Cork, including Apple. So Apple is one of the biggest companies in Cork. And a lot of our Spanish speaking students get part-time work with Apple because they record all of the voice for Siri in Cork through a small native company called VoxPro. Also Cork is the second largest natural harbour in the world after Sydney. You can see some pictures here. We have cruise ships from Cork to France and Spain. Um, also, as uh, my colleagues mentioned, UCC, as all of the other universities and ITs in Ireland, work very close with industries. So there's a great atmosphere in Ireland where companies come in and equip our labs. They also work with us to do research. And many of our courses are actually co-designed with industry. So there's 100% employability um, in a lot of the, the undergrad and postgrad programs that we run. 
The university dates from 1845 and was opened as Queen's College by Queen Victoria. Today it's part of the National University of Ireland. It's a historic building. Inside we have a great collection of Ogham stones which date from thousands of years. George Bull, who you saw his statue, he was the founder of our maths faculty. And the university is divided into four colleges. So arts, business and law, science, engineering and food science, and medicine and health. In arts, you can study anything from music, drama, to psychology, sociology, geography. We have a lot of international and European business and law. Science, engineering and food science are one of the biggest in the world in everything food, including food science, technology, business, food security and international development. And we have the full range of health and medicine. Our campus is um, an oasis in the city centre. Queen Victoria, when she opened the universities in Ireland, her mandate was that they'd be within a mile of the central post office in each city. So the university is really a city campus. There's a river that runs through the, through the city, the River Lee, which also runs through campus. This is the main entrance. But very importantly, and we're very proud, is UCC is, was the first campus in the world to have the green flag. And we've been consistently in the top 10 internationally for sustainability. And recently, in a new Times ranking on the Sustainable Development Goals, we ranked number one in responsible consumption because all the food we serve on campus comes from our own organic farm or local businesses within 5K. We have um, an amazing wildflower garden you'll have seen in the video, and we also run a sustainability summer school. And the university is proud of the community garden you would have seen in the video where students get to go and learn about gardening, plant their own vegetables and take them home free of charge. We also have a farmer's market on campus and we have zero plastic and you get a cup so that when you get a coffee on campus, you bring your own reusable cup. Environmental research is one of our flagship institutes where we have researchers from every discipline working towards important global challenges like climate action, healthy environment and circular economy. So as an undergrad or postgrad student, you can get a chance to join a very exciting research group to do a, a research placement or a project for your undergrad or postgrad thesis. Here's a Mexican student, Enrique, who discovered a renewable gas with seaweed during his PhD on a Conocid scholarship in, our, in environmental research. And here are some Mexican undergrad students. So Cesar studied music and he got to play at the Cork Jazz Festival. Octavio Data Analytics, he now works in a big global company, LexisNexis the first Latin American to work for them. And Romeo is doing a three-year degree in cinema and his short film was featured in the Cork Film Festival last year. We also have scholarships, Government of Ireland scholarships. Here are four students, Stephanie who did business information, Brenda sociology, Claudia public health and Ecto religion studies. Also in food, so food is a very important um, sector for Mexico and Ireland because there was a free trade um, agreement signed between Mexico and the European Union. So Mexico and Ireland are working together. And in Cork, we have a joint degree in food business, food engineering and food science with some universities in Latin America. One of our most amazing students in, um, comes from Honduras, Yensi. Yensi came to do a master's in molecular biology and the project she developed for her master's was actually an invention that made quick and low cost detection of tropical diseases in Central America. She won top prize that year for the best project in the university and a biotech startup company sponsored her and gave her $50,000 to start her company, which now actually opened doors in Mexico City and was one of the European top biotech companies in Latin America. It's called GlowDX. We also have students from El Salvador, Honduras, Costa Rica. Um, we've been one of the main univer European universities to attract European funding for Latin Americans to study and teachers to train in UCC. We also have students from Ecuador. Vanessa did international relations. She now works as a coordinator in Cork City Smart Gateway, 
Brazilian students, Marinara, works um, on an amazing project with blind dogs and electrical engineering. And Ankela from Colombia is working in the beverage industry in yeast and is sponsored by the European Union for a PhD. We have a great Latin American community of students. Um, they got together in, 20, in 2017 to raise funds for natural disasters in Peru and Colombia. And the Mexican community in Cork is very vibrant. They have um, Posada at Christmas time, um, Quince de Septiembre, and a lot of the other Latin American community joined them. So Cork is a very popular destination for Irish and European st students. It's one of the student capitals of Europe. It's also been a cultural capital. We have 24 festivals a year, everything from food, cinema, literature, and music. The Cork Jazz Festival is one of the best known in Europe. And it's also a UNESCO, UNESCO learning city. So we've had artists from Africa, Colombia um, join us for festivities. And Cork City, um, along with all, all of Ireland, is home to many castles. Blarney Castle here is one of the most visited in Ireland because there's a, a, a stone at the top. They say if you kiss it, you get the gift of um, speaking really well in public, the gift of the gab, we call it. Cork also has an airport, so if you're flying from anywhere in um, Latin America, you can go via Amsterdam or London directly to Cork. Um, flights you know, range from 500 euro, 400 euro one way to 800 euro return. And Ireland um, is one of the best, the most popular for international students in terms of extracurricular activities. So we organize trips at the weekend to go visit places of interest and it's subsidized by the university. There are also introduction to Irish sports, Irish dancing, Irish language. And then of course, very important in Ireland are the clubs and societies. So extracurricular activities, there are over a hundred clubs. In the after classes at 6 p.m., students usually go home, eat, and they come back on campus to join into activities. We have over a hundred sports facilities, which is all included. And uh, at weekends, there are trips, you know, to go surfing, horse riding, wind, windsurfing. We have accommodation on campus and in the city center. And it's very easy to apply. You can apply online through our portal. Um, the fees range from 12,000 to 20,000, depending on the discipline and the living costs between 8,000 and 10,000 annually. This is our application portal. And finally, there's a Facebook, UCC Latin America, where you can get in contact with me and you can see videos and testimonials from other Latin American students. Great, thank you. And we'll go back now to questions and answers. David, we have a question from um, Sophia who asks about um, culinary arts, um, maybe something in PKIT in this area. Yes, I did see that, Barry. Thanks for the question, Sophia. Yeah, I can get to your details and I have um, specific information on the, the culinary arts, so I can email that across. We have links with culinary arts facilities uh, all around the world. So say, for example, one of the key partners we have is the Four Seasons Hotel in Boston. So you can take a work placement uh, with the Four Seasons in Boston, but I'll email you that information across. Thanks, David. There's a question here from Aurora for Sarah at Mary Immaculate College. Um, it is, um, it, are, is there an extra charge for sports activities? Um, can you repeat that again? Sorry, I just didn't get the end of the question from Aurora. Is yes. that right? Is there an extra charge for sports activities at the college? Oh, for sports facilities, um, yes, we would have, um, we, we do have a student fee for using the sports facilities, but it's quite a small amount. So over the academic year, it is 60 euro, but that 60 euro um, allows you unlimited access to the gym, to the sports facilities, to classes. We also have classes for students such as Pilates, yoga, dance classes. We have a gym, we have a um, course for um, badminton, basketball, um, we have table tennis, we have the pitches outside the gym as well for use for soccer, um, Irish sports, as you get football, hurling. So while 60 euro may sound like a lot uh, all at one time, 
over the course of an academic year, it does get you a lot of advantages, such as all the classes as well. I know Pilates and yoga are incredibly popular, so the staff also avail of those. I hope that answers your question. Thanks. Sarah, there's just one other question there for, for Mary Immaculate. Elaine has a question about um, what percentage of art graduates have has gotten employment in psychology? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I don't have the specifics on that, but what I can tell um, the person who asked the question is that psychology is an incredibly popular choice at um, Mary Immaculate, and we have a very strong psychology department. The head of psychology, Dr. John Perry, is also the Dean of Arts um, in Mary Immaculate. And um, he is very um, passionate about psychology and not just teaching it um, to books, but also they carry out um, experiments in classes. So um, the students would uh, think of ways to interact with each other to perform psychology um, tests um, using um, materials that students would have in classrooms as well. So um, perhaps actually, if I can get um, the email of that person as well, I can find out more information on employability figures from John Perry and answer that person by email afterwards. Very good. I have a question for Kleena. Um, Kleena, there's a question here from Andres Eduardo about postgraduate studies in economics and finance. Hi, yeah, Eduardo. You know, we have various one-year masters in economics. Um, there are about five or six. If you check the website and the postgrad brochure, um, I can put up here, um, and we'd be happy to talk to you. Also, I have a Facebook called UCC Latin America. You can contact me through there as well. But yeah, the economics masters are very good as they all include a project with the local company. And that company can be a large multinational or a small startup company in Cork. Great. Um, qu question here for, for David from Kevin. What are the specific requirements and what is the application process? The application process for DKIT, you can apply directly to the Institute. I'll, I'll be forwarding you that information tomorrow. Um, so the in the entry requirements will differ for each institute and for each country that you come from. But when we speak to you directly, we'll be able to give you that information. So some uh, entry requirements will be a little bit different, but we accept all international qualifications as do the other institutes. And uh, just one of the questions I see popping up there is the area of round employability. International students in Ireland have the same opportunity as Irish nationals to apply for a job. The competition is no different. So you have the opportunity to stay and work in Ireland. When you graduate from an undergraduate degree as an international student, you can stay back for one year and have a working visa. And when you complete your master's degree in Ireland, you can stay back for two years and have a two-year working visa. And that's the same for all of the institutes. And it's, it's, I see the questions there. The entry requirements, all the institutes will ask for IELTS or TOEFLs, but they'll be different for each institute as well. Uh, great. We have a question here in terms of accommodation options at UCC. Hi, Barry. Yeah, we have um, we have six different accommodation campus um, campus based, and we also have. Um, other accommodation options around the city and similar to, to Limerick everything is really um, 10 or 15 minutes walk and also in Cork there's a free echo bicycle system so a lot of students um, cycle to work you pay 10 euro for a year pass and you can use these free echo bikes between college um, and city centre accommodation and campus. That's great. Um, a question for, for Sarah in terms of uh, Aurora is asking, do I need an IB to study in Ireland? You don't specifically need an IB to study in Ireland. Um, I think David said there that each country has different um, requirements or entrance requirements. So, for example, a, a student from the US, we would look at their SAT results. So they don't need an IB specifically to study in Ireland. 
we would look at the um, the final entrance final exams that each um, student would have done in their home country, so th to have finished their secondary education, and um, we would then determine, for example, in Mary Immaculate, some students do need to have done a to do a foundation year before they can apply to us. This is because the Irish Leaving Certificate exam. Um, many countries, their um, end of secondary school exams aren't equivalent to the leaving certificate and because of that a foundation year is required. So it really does differ um, from to, to for each country on the requirements for entrance into um, the universities or third level institutions. Um, but if you have an IB, we will definitely look at that, but you don't necessarily need an IB to um, apply to us. Okay, thanks, Sarah. There's a question here from Paulina who's asking about scholarships. Uh, David, you might want to take that one. Yeah, e each institute will offer scholarships of, of their own unique kind. So when you apply directly to any of the institutes here or our, any RAC institute, they will offer certain scholarships at DKIT. Our unique scholarship is that we offer free accommodation for undergraduate students for the duration of your degree. So you won't pay for accommodation the whole time you're with us. So, and then we also offer additional scholarships as per you know, high scoring in your IELTS or TOEFL. You know, if you get high marks in your undergraduate or master or sorry, or undergraduate degree or high school. But again, when you apply to the Institute, they will tell you what scholarships that they have available. So each of us are different, but we all have scholarships. Thanks, David. Um, we have just a couple more questions before we finish up. Dina at UCC, there's a question from Jacob about are there specific requirements for Mexicans? Mexicans to study undergrad, um, we would need either the International Baccalaureate or it could Which if, it, which, if your English is good enough, you could do during six months. Um, so apart from that, there's no other requirements. For a postgrad, there's no problem. You go directly with an undergrad from a licenciatura from Mexico. Okay, that's great. Um, Mexicans. So, yeah, just to say that um, at Education in Ireland, we have a Facebook page for students um, in Latin America. It's called Estudiar in Irlanda. And if you follow us on Facebook, you will get a lot of information about um, different events that we're doing, uh, different programs, and um, virtual fairs where you can learn more about the Irish institutions. Um, we will follow up on uh, all other questions in writing, and you'll receive uh, all of the material from today. So um, I think we're going to um, wrap it up there, and we'll be in touch with everybody uh, very shortly. Um, so I'd like to thank all of the students, all of the counsellors and everyone for joining today's session and we hope to be in touch with you soon. And I'd like to say thank you everyone who's been watching this from all over the world and in case you missed something, don't worry, we will be emailing you all a recording of today's webinar. Uh, I'd like to say a huge thank you to Sarah, Kleena, Barry and David for your wonderful presentations. Stay tuned for more SRT webinars on, webinars on Ireland. We will be meeting more Irish universities tomorrow and again on the 19th of May. In the meantime, wishing you all the very best and see you again soon. Bye-bye.